Welcome back to my channel guys. So I have a very exciting video today. I'm getting some tape-ins installed and if you've been following me you know that tape-ins is my favorite form of hair and stitching because they're so light. They're easy to put in so they're super quick to put in and they are just like undetectable. They lay super flat so let me show you the ones I'm putting in today. So these are the girls. Cute. I can't even hold my excitement. Look at how curly and pretty these are. It's like a loose wave texture. These are from Curls Queen. They sent me two bundles of these loose wave tape and extensions. And they also have different textures. So if you guys want to check them out, I have them linked down in the bio or in the description. But these are going to be so cute. These actually match my hair texture pretty good whenever I do a braid out. Um, I did straighten my hair to make it easy to put in. But so I'm going to wear these straight for the first few days. And then after working out and stuff, then I'll go to wearing them just like this. If you guys want to see, I'll include that in this video too, how I do that. I'm pretty much just going to do a braid out on the tape ends. And just wear like that loose wave so it'll be no heat. And it'll be good to wear going to the gym and everything like that. So I am letting my friend put these in my head because I don't trust myself to put it in myself. You guys know I used to be a hairstylist so I do these all the time on other people. And the way that you have to do it is super easy but you cannot see the back of your head unless you have like double mirrors which I don't. So I don't 100% trust myself to put it in the right way and I really want to give these tape ends like their full show their full potential and i don't want it to pull my hair out any more than it already is because you know your girl bleached her hair a few times and it's a little bit <laughs> broken off especially in the front so i just straightened it i used let me show you guys what i used to wash it so i just used this hair affinity shampoo and conditioner to wash it whenever you are doing tape-ins you don't want to condition your hair you pretty much just want to wash your hair with only shampoo because you want the tape-ins to be able to stick together and if you have any type of moisture or product in your hair it won't stick as well but since my hair is so dry and kind of damaged i did condition it a little bit so i used the shampoo all over my head twice and then i used the conditioner just right on my ends just one time i didn't put it on the scalp because that is where the tape ends are going to mainly lay and i wanted them to be able to stick properly and last so if you are going to use conditioner, just make sure you don't get it on your scalp. And then after, whenever you blow dry it and straighten it and everything, you don't want to use any leave-in conditioner. I use just a little bit of heat protectant, but it's like the more water-based one, so it's no like moisturizing components. So my hair is very, very clean right now. It's a little bit dry, but that's okay because once you get your tape ins put in, you can put in leave-in conditioner, you can wash it with shampoo and conditioner, you can do whatever you need to do, so your hair will be fine. But yeah. I'm just about to head out right now to get these put in. I am going to see my friend Crystal in her salon. So I'm so excited. I haven't seen her in so long. And yeah, um, if you do want to put these in yourself, just make sure you have a double mirror and check out other videos on YouTube. I won't be showing how to put it in yourself, but I'll be showing how my friend puts them in. And I'll show you guys the after and I'll tell you all about it. So yeah, I'll see you guys at the salon. <laughs> So we're here, I forgot to record most of this, but look at how pretty this hair is. My hair doesn't match, but it'll be okay. Mm -hmm. So she's just about to finish this side and I'll try to get it on camera for you guys.
Okay guys, so it's been a few days. I literally just woke up, so don't mind my face. But I ended up coloring the top. Um, I'll actually let it down so you guys can see the full effect. So I ended up doing like a demi-permanent or semi-permanent right on the top. And this is what she looked like. So this is what it looks like. I did two braids last night and I just took it down this morning and it's super cute. So I'm gonna show you guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mommy. How bomb this is. So this is literally like the perfect hairstyle for me because it's super quick, super easy. I literally do it at night. So I literally just put my hair in two braids. And I put these two little rollers on the ends to give like a curl, but you honestly don't even need to do that. You can just spray some water on it and scrunch it, take it down in the morning, and you'll have something like this. And it looks so good. I'm obsessed with this hair. So, ew, my lips. <laughs> if you are interested in this hair, I'll have all the information linked down in the description. I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out here because I really want to get this video up as soon as possible. If you guys want to see like anything else, see, like how I straighten it and stuff, like how it looks when it's straightened, I'm definitely gonna have some pictures on my Instagram. But if you want to see how I actually straighten it, like a video, comment down below and let me know, and I'll do that in another video. But yeah, I'm gonna close this video out here. We have a long day ahead of us, so I need to get going. If you did like this video, then make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next one.